Hello everyone. It's James again. And before we jump into the topic of today. I want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith. Otherwise known as Begood 4000. And was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope everyone is doing great. I wanted to make this video because there were some great comments on my last video. And some comments that have come in over time with those stating they are having hard a time with the recovery process of being narcissistically abused and just being really in a bad space and place if that makes sense. Here's what I want you to know. Regardless if you are in a good place or if everything seems so bad. Like as if it won't ever get better. Please do not give up on yourself. And please do not give up on your healing from narcissistic abuse. Robert left a really great message. Actually he left a few of them. Regarding he and his wife Claudia. Here's what Robert had to say. My mother and my father were both full-blown psychopaths. As a young adult I got married to a psychopath. In my 30s I got married to a second psychopath. Today I'm happily married to an amazing woman who understands this type of evil. My wife and I are very happy together. We have absolutely no abuse in our home. We can talk to each other about anything and we do. We love peace. We don't mind boredom. So there is hope for all of us. And to that I say. There is indeed hope for us. And thank you so much for writing this comment Robert. And I will be sharing with you other things he wrote in just a moment. But I first want to talk about the first comment. Here's a man that had obviously a really bad childhood if he's using the word psychopath in the same sentence when explaining his parents. So I'm pretty sure. There were tons of gas lighting. And literal chaos in the home. Where he was the blame for everything. Now please correct me if I'm wrong Robert. But with parents like yours. I'm pretty sure that was the case. Like it was the case with most of us. And living in such a place leaves scars. Deep scars. It also leaves you in a place where you think you know how to behave in life and pick a good life partner. But you really don't. And I and many of us have been in that exact same boat. Robert ended with not just one but two marriages to some really bad people. How does this happen? Well when you grow up like we did. You are even more susceptible to the love bombing. And the coming on strong like most of these extremely disordered people do. Because. Yes. Healthy people can still fall for this mess. But people like us are walking targets for such disordered people. Because we are missing something inside. We are missing a lifetime of love. And they can see it in us. And they use that lack of love we are feeling to pretend they are something they aren't. And before you know it they have us right where they want us. And Robert went through this in two of his marriages. But something happened. And reading in between the lines here. It appears Robert learned some things about himself and what happened to him growing up. He learned about the bad marriages he ended up in. He started to piece the story together. Like most of us. He started to watch videos like most of us. And read up on the subject like most of us. And he started to do the self work. The hard hard work of self betterment. Now here's what I want to tell you men and women out there that are really really in a bad space. Like the commenter mentioned in my video before last. Those out there that don't know the first thing about this problem and what you went through. They see those that are losing in life and they want nothing to do with that situation. And as I mentioned about it. It's because they don't know the backstory and even if they heard it. They might still not get it. And it's not their fault. Yes. Yes. There are some super selfish people out there. That only want winners. For the sake of only wanting to be around winners. 
and then there are those that look at someone that is having a large amount of trouble in their life. Like I mentioned before. Maybe this person they see. Appears to be super smart. But they are living somewhere or working somewhere that doesn't appear to match their smarts. And then they look at their age. And they think. Wow. What happened to them? They must be lazy. And though they are mistaken about this assumption. This person that might not know any better is scared off by wanting to deal with someone and their situation that seems well off putting to them. But there are those that do understand and that do get it. Yes, it's a bad idea to tell even some close friends about this problem you have because many won't understand. However, if you go through life long enough, you will find someone organically that will. For me. I have only two close friends that know about my upbringing. But that's it. And where I was going with all of this. Regarding winning and losing. Sorry for getting sidetracked here. But winning and losing is an interesting thing. The more you win in life. And you are taught this by healthy parents. The easier it becomes and the easier many things in life are. The winning just compounds itself one win after the next. But the same thing happens with losing. It just becomes normal to lose and it gets harder and harder to get out of that losing cycle. And life can be hard. The same thing with loneliness. If you don't have a place to go to today, tomorrow it won't get any easier. But something interesting happens when you push through. And you create opportunities for yourself. When you take a class, or donate your time like I mentioned before. You have places to go to each and every week. Where you see new people and you get to know some of these people over time. Where you get to use your new skills and boundaries. And like I've mentioned before. You might make a friend you just get coffee or tea with a few times a month and you talk about lighthearted things. Or you might make a best friend. Or you might meet a life partner. Well apparently through not giving up and going through the process. Robert met Claudia and they both like peas, which is wonderful. And they both understand each other, which is very similar to a few people that are here on YouTube in the narcissistic abuse community. Some of them after a lifetime of one horrible situation after the next. They ended up with someone that understands their problems because they went through the same life problems themselves. There's an interesting movie. I forget the name off of the top of my head. But it's a movie where the woman has an accident and passes away. And the man goes through a lot of dysfunction because of losing his wife. And what made them so special is they both grew up in a youth home together. He on the boy's side and her on the girl's side. They understood each other from a point of view no one else could. And though you shouldn't walk around looking for someone that went through exactly what you went through. Be mindful there are such people out there. And if your boundaries are in place. And since I'm a believer. And the Most High chooses to bless you with a good mate or friend. You might just happen upon someone that does know what you went through. That does get it. Because they went through the same thing too. Again be careful. Because narcissists will try to mirror you and fake they are just like you. When in reality they are just acting the part. Look for inconsistencies. And if the actions don't match the words. You know what to do. Walk away. It's that simple. But it's amazing. Those that are putting in the work. Not always. But many times. They seem to meet someone that cares as a result. And though it has seemed like a lifetime of having no one. Please do not count yourself out. Because though there are many toxic narcissists in the world. There are many of us that were once victims. And are now survivors and are doing the self work. And the more you live your life. Fully and completely. The more of a chance you have of running into someone that will understand you just as much as you can understand them. With that said. Let's see what else Robert and Claudia have to say. Oh and by the way. Hello Robert and Claudia. 
I hope you two are doing well today. And again thank you for sharing your thoughts and life experiences with us here. So here's what they had to say. Claudia and I want to give a bit more of our story. Early in our dating I asked her do you know what a narcissist is? She answered yes. I left her answer alone for a little while. Then a day or two later I asked her another question. I asked her. Do you know what a psychopath is? She answered yes I know what that is. Several days later I began to talk a little bit about narcissists. And Claudia said the following words to me. Yes and I remember when I finally came to understand that these creatures never change. As it turned out Claudia has a father who is at the very least highly disordered and she had gotten into a relationship with a psychopath. She had a therapist who told her that she was a psychopath magnet. And recommended some videos for her to watch. By the time I met Claudia both of us had educated ourselves on narcissistic abuse. Both of us had spent quite a bit of time alone healing recovering and learning. And when we came together we were both finished living in the cycle of abuse. Now though this style may work for you or even someone else. Or maybe it doesn't. What good you can get from this comment is to observe what the person you are around has to say and what they do. You see. The narcissist has their do-do test where they want to see what bad things they can get away with in regards to you and their relationship with you. And though that test is downright horrible. Don't be shy regarding politely and nicely testing the person you're getting to know. It's in no way shape or form a do-do test by vetting someone. It's called having boundaries. You might say or do certain things. And see how they react. Not just their words but their actions. Are they saying all the right things here? But a month later they do something contrary to their words. But again. What this instance with Robert shows is there is light at the end of the tunnel. What I'm curious to know is. Robert did you have points of isolation? And if so what did you do to break this cycle? Because it's important for people to hear this. Because ladies and gentlemen. If Robert stayed at home and didn't venture out to have a life beyond the abuse he suffered. Though toxic individuals in his life would have won. And Robert really would have lost. But Robert sounds like he carefully kept at living. He kept at living. Improving and getting better. Also. Robert. Besides the conversation you had with Claudia that let you know she was on the same page as you. I'm curious to know what boundaries you put in place and how it helped you sidestep other toxic people so you could be in a situation to meet Claudia. Again. All of this is so so important to those that are at the bottom right now and know nothing else but losing. It's people like you and Claudia and many others that show us. A happy life is possible. I would love to talk more about this. Because there are people that really need this help out there. And if you are one of them. Please hang in there. Please do. If you want to talk to someone in the comment section. Do it. There are tons of nice people. I also recommend you get out of the house. Again. Donate your time where you can work with others. Take it for what it is. You might not make a best friend. You might just exchange a few nice words and a smile. But that's a start. Building one win at a time. One win at a time. And again. Thank you Robert and Claudia for sharing your experiences. I'm very interested on what more you have to say on this topic. As I'm interested in what all the rest of you have to say. Because the more we share. The more we grow. Well that's all I have for now. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to be a part of this channel's growth. And don't forget to click the little bell to be notified each and every time I make a new video. Also. Don't forget to like and share as this tells YouTube this content is important to you and you want to see more of it. And if you would like to support even further. You can do so by the way of Patreon. There will be a link in the box below. And for those that are already supporting by the way of Patreon. I humbly say thank you. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed.
And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.